Well, this will be a good battery to check for uh, doing a little restoration on it. This actually starts the car no problem. Like I said, this is only 1300 cc Jeep and uh, it's a Jimny 1300, not too many of them around, Japanese version. Um, this battery was is a um, one from AutoZone. <laughs> it's, it's a one year battery. And right now, this is uh, 2013 in um, August, or actually almost September now. And I bought it in 1998 or 97, okay? And it actually starts the car no problem. Now, this is a, this is a just a uh, 100 amp load tester, so it's like too strong of a load tester for this battery. But it'll show bad because it's not, it's not an adjustable load tester. So it's a cheaper one, but it gives you an idea. But I'm going to see if doing what I do to recondition a battery brings this one up a little bit more and see if it can last another uh, 17 years or whatever how old this damn thing is or 15 years. So put on a load test for 10 seconds. Um, this way. One, two. Okay, well, you could see it went right into right about where it said it was bad, but this is actually this starter in this Jeep is not going to draw that much amps. So it would probably probably be in the green area, but just to give it a reference point, it went slightly into the red area. So I'm going to put some stuff in it and treat the battery, and we'll see from there how well it does after we do a few discharges halfway or a little bit and then recharge it and do this several times and we'll see how strong it gets later on well here's a little trick um, got some distilled water I made that in a water distiller Epsom salt right so it is Epsom salt and uh, just put a few level tablespoons in there level and we're going to stick it in the battery which will uh, desulfate it let it soak, let it uh, mix up good. And uh, I'm going to put just a hair more. Make sure it's mixed up good. And uh, it's just going to go in each cell on the battery. I just got a little cup here to use as a uh, funnel. That's it. So then I'm going to discharge the battery a little bit and then charge it, discharge it, recharge it, discharge it, and then we'll put the load tester on it in a few days, which you'll see that immediately in the video, of course. Okay, just put a little bit of Epsom salt into each one of the, you know, the Epsom salt solution into each one of the filler caps on the battery, you know, Epsom salt. And you know, this battery, you notice here, it's got Gorilla Glue around it because it was leaking a little bit of acid by the positive post. Hey, just cleaned it off really good with some, uh, you know, brake cleaner or thinner or something like that, or starting fluid or whatever the hell I used. And I uh, put Gorilla Glue around it. This used to get corroded with all kinds of junk, staying clean. So, there's all kinds of ways you could do stuff. And actually, to me, that's the way to do things, right? You gotta know your own stuff. Now this thing was just on a trickle charger for about less than 24 hours, or around 24 hours, which is probably too short of a time because I had this on a desulfating trickle charger for weeks, just the first shot I checked it. But let's uh, give it a try anyway and see what happens. Look at that. Look at that. You see the difference? It's already, it's already staying in the yellow a little bit. You notice that? You see that? And it was in red a little bit. So it did, in fact, improve it that fast. Now, if you're going to use this thing over where you're going to be, you know, discharging the battery a little bit, charging it up, discharging it, it's actually going to get better than that. So this actually brought it back, I'd say, about three or four tenths of a volt higher on that already. And this is... I just put the stuff in here. I didn't discharge the battery a little bit. I just put it on a trickle charger. 
And before I put this stuff in it, it was on this desulfating trickle charger for weeks. So I mean, this is a really fair, unbiased type of uh, reporting. So this stuff does, in fact, work. It's actually going to get up higher. Now this battery, like I said, is um, a small battery for 1300cc Jeep, and I'm testing it with a 100 amp load tester. So it's not fair to like load test a small, tiny battery with 100 amps, and also test a large battery with 100 amps. That's why I use adjustable ones. This is, an, this is a cheap one. But it obviously got better because before it was a little bit into the red, now it's a little bit into the yellow, which is, I'd say that's about um, at least three tenths of a volt improvement, uh, which actually is a lot. You know, when you're going from a fully charged battery at rest, it's 12.7 volts. The flat out zero, it's like 10.2. Uh, it's not zero, it's not one, it's not five, it's like, t excuse me, 10.8. 10.8 and when a battery is around 12 volts it's I think it's got about 50% of the charge in it or 12.2 or 12 volts it's not like what you think it is you know so going up three tenths to four tenths of a volt is a major jump it's holding a hell of a lot more charge and that's just after just under 24 hours so this stuff really really works very cost-efficient so Smart thing to do.